Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's good to see you all again. I know I've been gone for a little bit. I do apologize. There really is nothing else to it other than I just didn't really feel like playing Minecraft. So uh, you don't have to force yourself to play every single day. Sometimes it's good to take a break. And I didn't have much inspiration and really needed to take a break. So that's why you haven't seen any videos in the past couple days. Anyways, today's build is an exciting one. I uh, I really like this idea. I think it's going to be super cool. I'm just having a hard time finding out where to put it. So I've been kind of walking around my world for the past couple of days, just thinking about all the different spots I could put this build. And I just can't really seem to decide where... I'm going to put it so um, I'll explain to you what it is while I'm trying to figure that out, which is basically we're going to build a small cathedral with a ton of flowers around it. If you look at my inventory, look at all the flowers we've got, right? So many different colors. And so this is kind of an extension from the last episode, as you can see in the top left next to my head there, uh, where we built that staff. There was another scene in the show where they were at this cathedral. And uh, I won't give you any spoilers, but basically they uh, were at this broken down cathedral. Uh, it was a very short scene. And um, Freerin, the main character, has this spell to basically plant a giant field of flowers. And so they planted this giant field of flowers around this cathedral. And the shot itself in the show was very, very beautiful. It was really nicely done great piece of art and i really wanted to uh, replicate that on my world i think it would look really cool around here i just haven't quite decided where to put it yet uh because i don't have a whole lot of room on this island anymore as you can see so i've kind of just spent the last four or five days um building the actual build in a creative world so i know what it's gonna look like but i just can't seem to figure out where the heck to put this thing I'll show you some of the spots that I'm thinking, but obviously by the thumbnail, you'll see where I ended up putting it. But I do want to give you guys some insight as to where I thought maybe it could go before we actually build it, which was up here on this hill. This hill has been here forever and there's never been anything on it, but I don't know if I love this spot because of the fact that it's just, you know, it's not really... <laughs> it's too small that's the best way to explain it like uh it doesn't feel like a cathedral would be over here and i certainly don't want to put it down here is because uh that's because we're planning to build a giant port down here eventually i just have never really gotten around to that but that's what this whole area has been reserved for so anyways that's where i'm at right now i'm having a hard time trying to figure out where the heck i'm going to put this uh build and so I guess we'll find out in the next clip. Um, but actually, before we do that, uh, I do remember we had a donator that we needed to name. So let's get him a villager and let's put him somewhere. All right. I'm going to make you Mr. Elijah O'Reilly. This is the least cooperative villager I've ever seen. There we go. Okay. All right. I think Elijah is going to be our little farm keeper in over here. I feel like this is a... Uh, a cool spot for him so we'll patch that up and mr elijah o'reilly you are now the owner of this building uh unfortunately i don't have anything to light it up okay i think as long as they have a bed they should stay here i don't think he'll wander off too far he'll stay within the uh the general area over here we'll just hope that uh he doesn't die <laughs> all right we'll uh we'll make sure to try and keep him alive so elijah o'reilly this is your new home welcome to this lo lovely little area you have you're gonna keep watch of this uh, mediterranean farm anyways let's get to the actual purpose of today's video so where am i gonna put this thing that's what i have been really struggling with i don't want it over in this direction because that is where the city is and it just doesn't fit with having the city backdrop so maybe if we go like really high up in the air if we go to the boat over here maybe we'll be able to see a little better um so i was thinking maybe somewhere over here like if i flatten this out and cover it with dirt that would look really nice i honestly i even thought about way over there but i want to be able to see it every day so that's why this is really troubling me I, oh man, this is a tough one. I feel like I just don't have enough land for this around here. I don't know. I'm 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 really kind of leaning more towards 
this area over here. The only problem about this area over here is that it snows all the time, and I don't like the fact that it snows over here. I, I would just rather be able to see this all the time, and so I think I'm going to build it right here. So uh, I guess I'll get to work with uh, clearing a lot of this out. I'm going to need a lot of this stone and stuff, so it is going to take quite a bit of time, but it will be... Uh, worth it in the end and I'm going to have to basically uh, cover this entire area with <laughs> grass so um, yeah this video is going to take a while to come out uh, I don't know when it's going to come out but that's why it's taking me so long all right before I get started here is the idea so I've kind of marked out this line over this cliff so you can see the original shape of the land is kind of surrounding this cave so i thought it'd be cool if we had some sort of like overhang here that's going to really tie in with the fantasy theme of this bridge and stuff and i might change this up and make it look a little bit better um but i'm gonna fill all of this in with grass the whole thing and then we're gonna go underneath and make some sort of um kind of like overhang with rocks underneath here it's gonna look really really nice and then we're going to cover this grass with flowers, and then the cathedral will be in the middle. But first, we obviously need to do the terraforming part. And so I'm just going to cut to a time lapse of me filling in all of this dirt. I'm going to turn on some music, and I will cut back once I have finished placing all of the dirt. Let's go. Right, let's have a look so uh, here we go the whole area is now flattened out so we have a nice space to work with I forgot to get rid of all that stuff right there we'll worry about that in a second but basically uh, now I'm going to build the structure itself so it's gonna kind of have this like triangle shape if you will kind of like this do I have any blocks on me can I show you all right, we're almost ready to start building. I figured I would show you guys the build palette for today. So uh, we're going to start off um, with some smooth stone as the main block. I think this is going to be basically what all the walls are made of, but I'm going to do lots and lots of details. So I've got all the different variants. We've got cobblestone. We've got stone bricks here. We've got andesite. And I think for the roof, I'm going to be using polished andesite. So you can see it's a very gray build, but uh, it's going to look really cool in the end because of the variations that we're going to do with the blocks. And as for the shape, I believe I'm going to do something like this. So it's going to be longer than it is wider. So kind of like this here. And then it's going to have uh, a triangle shape at the top. And then uh, we're going to have like these pillars on the side like this. And then we'll have a bell tower up top. I haven't quite decided uh, what roof block that it's going to be like. Let's just make sure we don't fall off the edge. Um, so we're going to have some sort of shape like this. So if you can picture that on a bigger scale, that's what we're going to be uh, working with. So this is a great way to visualize your builds, by the way, if you're struggling to kind of see how something's going to turn out, it's always good to build it on a really tiny scale like this so you can get a decent idea of the shape. So uh, that's what we're going to have. So uh, I guess let's cut to a time lapse and uh, you'll see me build this thing and then we'll go over how we did it. I've just about finished 
building the actual structure itself now. I'm super, super happy with how this turned out. I think you guys are really going to like it. So I'll walk you through what we did here before we do the final touches, which is uh, the surroundings of this thing, which is going to be super cool. Um, but yeah, let's start with the front. So uh, lots and lots of detail in this build and why I made it in the first place was I wanted to really challenged myself and I'm really proud of this build because this is an entirely original build. So I didn't look at any references for anything here. So this was done completely freehand, wasn't looking at any pictures or anything. So, um, yeah, that, that was a challenge for sure. It definitely took me a while to get the shapes that I was looking for. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one. I feel like this is a really cool build. So, uh, so if we head over to the building on the side here, I did something really interesting, which was use uh, the same color glass panes that I used right here, but I actually like stuck them to the cobblestone wall because it makes it it's extend outwards. And so I felt like that was a, a cool look, but you can see by this whole thing, I used a lot of repetitive patterns, but also like trying to make the wall not flat at any point so you can see a lot of cobblestone walls have been used andesite walls all of that stuff just in alternating orientations to make sure that the wall wasn't flat so you get that really like um real life chiseled uh cathedral look so if you've ever seen a cathedral in real life like a really really nice one maybe at like a college or in a city center or something like that they usually have very very chiseled walls with lots of designs and so i tried to replicate that with the stairs and the walls and such which is why uh, you can see this pattern and i actually think it worked out really really nicely and so uh <laughs> the only thing i stole from somebody else on this build was this right here which was uh obviously b-dubs did that with the courthouse on hermitcraft and so i thought that was a nice way to make like gargoyles or something those statues that they have uh, up at the top. So I thought that was really cool. Um, then we have uh, some glazed terracotta in there to kind of act like uh, stained glass because I feel like uh, the glass that we have in Minecraft doesn't really get that artwork texture that you're looking for with stained glass. So that's why I use that block. If we take a little bit more of a step back, you can see how I did the towers. So they're uh, cobblestone walls with stone brick at the top. This one I used andesite for a little bit of a different kind of shape um, with color and stuff like that. And then some iron bars at the top to give it that pointy feel. So you can see I did that with pretty much all of the peaks here, except for this one, I used um, stained glass at the top. I think that's gray stained glass there, just to give it a little bit different of a shape. That's our bell tower up there, obviously. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep that glazed terracotta there, but I kind of just wanted to have something in the center there uh, that might go, but um, we'll leave it there for now. But uh, yeah, this is how uh, the building looks. The back is pretty much the same as the front. I just didn't do a window there because uh, I don't think most cathedrals have a window in the back. Um, and so, yeah, that's what it looks like on the outside. Uh, really, really nice. Also used uh, some buttons as well. So, um, it looks very complex, but it actually wasn't as complex as it seems. It's more, um, especially when you're building, just trying to get the shapes, right? If you get the shape, right. And the planning done really nicely, then the rest of it's going to be really easy. And that was, um, what happened with this build. I almost walked off the edge there. Um, I planned this in a creative mode world, uh, my test world. And so it was very easy to transfer it over um, because I already had an idea of what I was going to do. So that made everything much, much easier. Uh, here's the inside. This is what the inside looks like. So it's quite small. I forgot to <laughs> fill that in over there. I'll take care of that in a second. Um, so yeah, quite small in here. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I don't know if I'm even going to use it for anything, <laughs> um, but it is a, uh, a nice little place and I really like the way that it turned out. But in order to do this the right way, I need to actually complete what I wanted to build this for in the first place, which was we are going to cover this entire area with flowers. It's going to look really cool. Let's cut to the time lapse. Let's go.
Okay, I think that just about does it right there. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. You guys can hear me smiling. Oh, yes, that is exactly what I was going for. That took a long while to gather all of those flowers. I actually spent uh, the majority of the past two days gathering all of them, flying around my world trying to find a flower forest. But this is exactly the vibe I was going for. I just wanted to have flowers everywhere. That's the way that it looked in the show. And I wanted to really recreate that here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do it today, but maybe in the future or future i will add one of the the uh man i can't speak <laughs> maybe in the future i will add one of those gold trees that i've built i feel like that would look cool over here um but as for today i am done but of course uh before we end the video we got to check it out with the shaders because it is going to look phenomenal with them and i gotta see what it looks like when we turn those on there we go. That is what I am talking about. I wanted to really see the uh, the waving animation there, and that is just one beautiful build, if you ask me. I'm really, really proud of this one. Definitely one of my favorites that I've done on the world, and I'm glad that I chose a spot that I can see it normally. I actually haven't checked it from farther away, so we'll do that in a second, but I am just really, really proud of this one. Uh, I really like the way that this looks, so... Um, yeah, happy with this one. It, that was a tough one. That one took a while. That took a long time to make. That is a beautiful, beautiful building right there. I am definitely happy with that. Ooh, that's what it looks like from far away. That is pretty nice. Once we finish that cliff and uh, whatever I figure out that I'm going to do down there, that is going to look really, really nice in the distance. That is what I was picturing right there. Ooh, it looks really nice. It looks really, really good. That is awesome. That is awesome. Here's a little bit more of a zoomed out view. So I think I'm actually going to like extend this outwards. I might take this cliff and just kind of like wrap it all the way around over here. Uh, centralized around this staff that we built. I feel like that would be much better. It won't take that long. It seems like a huge task, but... Uh, to just place a bunch of dirt and stone under there, it, maybe like a day's worth of work. But I am super, super happy with that, especially when the sun is setting right now. Look at how awesome that looks. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for this video. So let's answer our comment of the day. All right, today's question comes from Exists the Fox 6800 and uh, they say, every time I watch one of your videos, the quality gets better. I just wanted to say that it's been a journey to see you grow and continue to grow. I can't wait to see what comes for you in the future. So thank you very much for the kind message, Fox. And this is something I actually... Uh, wanted to talk about here while I'm finishing up this episode, which is uh, that, yeah, it's been definitely a journey with this channel. I would say it hasn't been easy, um, especially because I'm managing so many things at once. I wouldn't call this the main thing that I'm doing for work. I have other stuff that I uh, do, which I would like to keep private, um, but uh, very interesting having a Minecraft YouTube channel. I've learned a lot over the past couple months or so, and I think the biggest thing I've realized is just how random YouTube can be because, um, I feel like my videos have gotten better. I feel like I'm much more capable of making a good Minecraft video these days, and I spend a lot more time and effort editing them. But for whatever reason, it seems like a, a lot less people are watching them now, <laughs> which it was to be expected from the beginning. I remember saying it in the first episode that I had ever um, uploaded that got a lot of views, that Hermitcraft video, or right after it or something. I remember saying that my channel was basically going to fall off like a cliff after that and that those people weren't going to stay. And... Um, I only knew that because that's the reality of YouTube. I've been doing this for many, many, many years now, well over a decade that I understand how YouTube works. And especially when you blow up, if you're not very consistent or you're not doing something that truly wows people, then your channel is just going to fall off if you have one video that does well. So, um, while I don't think my channel has necessarily fallen off like a cliff, <laughs> it has definitely fallen off for sure. And um, 
it is something that I would say it's not you guys that hurt my feelings, but it is definitely the YouTube algorithm that hurts my feelings a little bit because I did expect my videos to be doing a little bit better than they were, especially because of how much time and effort that I've been putting into them. And it's just a shame that they uh, are not doing as well as they used to. And unfortunately, um, it doesn't look like this is something I'm going to be able to do long term for now. Um, so if stuff slows down or doesn't do as well or is just well not not really doesn't do as well but if stuff just like slows down and i'm not posting as much it's because i just have to um unfortunately and realistically allocate my time to other stuff that i'm doing that is more successful than the minecraft youtube channel so it's not that i don't like playing minecraft i i do enjoy playing the game basically what i'm trying to say is i don't want to force myself to play minecraft if i don't really feel like playing because of the fact that that is what leads to burnout and i was definitely feeling a little burnt out over the past two or three weeks or so um just because it's hard to come up with ideas for every single episode and especially when they're not getting as many views and people seem to not be enjoying them as much um then it gets a little bit harder and harder each time to sit down in front of my computer and make a video. So um, I'd rather be transparent about that and tell you guys the honest truth about how it's been. Um, so I, I haven't really been feeling the greatest about Minecraft over the past maybe two or three weeks for that reason. It really seems like my channel just isn't doing as well as it was. And uh, for whatever reason that may be, whether I've become boring or my videos aren't as good, which I don't feel like is the case. I feel like I've been putting a lot of time and effort into them and they have become much better than they were. But for whatever reason, it seems like people don't really like that, um, which is unfortunate. Um, so I'm not really sure what to do. Uh, so I'm kind of just figuring it out uh, with the guys as we go. Just trying new things, experimenting with new styles. That's why you've seen so many different thumbnails and stuff is because especially with YouTube, you've got to be on top of it if you want to be. Um, you know, growing. You have to constantly be evolving and trying to get better with every single video. So I've just been trying a lot of new things, a lot of different things to try and solve these issues that I am having. Um, but anyways, uh, that is more of a long-term thing and not something that affects uh, you. I'm talking to a... like. I'm talking to my viewers as a singular person. <laughs> it's not something that affects you directly. So um, this is more of a broad YouTube thing with a massive audience. Um, so I'm just speaking in terms of like the algorithm in YouTube as a job, um, because to be honest with you, I don't make anything from YouTube. I, it's like I barely make enough to buy like a cup of noodles per video. So that's why um, if my videos slow down, it's just because I have to work and I have to make money doing other stuff and um, just allocate my time to other things that are, you know, at the moment more important than um, making Minecraft. Because at the end of the day, we have to put food on the table for ourselves, right? We have to survive. We have to make money somehow. Uh, that's just the way that the world works, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I know that was a little bit of a ramble at the end, but I w did want to be transparent with why it may seem that my stuff has uh, slowed down recently. Um, and that is why, you know? It's just the realistic... Um, you know, situation of being a YouTuber. That's the way that things go. When things really aren't working out, um, it, it is difficult to force yourself to sit in front of the computer and make a video. And I feel like my videos are really driven by my passion for Minecraft and I don't want them to feel robotic. And so that's why I tend not to film if I'm feeling that way. If I feel like I have to get an episode out today, then I tend just not to record um, just so that you know, when I do make videos, they are passionate and it is about something that I care about. So anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, we don't have any new donators to go over to, to go over for today. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Fox, for the comment and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you later.